Amen, amen, hallelujah, glory be to God. God is so good on this blessed Saturday. I thank God for who he is. I thank God for his son, Jesus. Um, I thank God for the love that the Lord shows all of us each and every day. And I'm thankful and very blessed and humbled to have a relationship with God through his son, Jesus. It is truly a blessing. Welcome to the Deliverance and Restoration channel on this blessed Saturday. As always, I hope and pray that all of you are doing well and that you are seeking the things of God at a high frequency. It is a blessing to seek Him daily. Amen. And He's been so good to us. Um, I thank God for all of you for taking the time out of your day to... Uh, drop by my channel and listen to the word of the Lord. I thank God for um, all of you, those of you who, who consistently support this channel. I thank God for the fellowship that um, I've experienced with so many of you. It is truly a blessing to read your comments. And, uh, you know, God really speaks to me. And, um, you know, many of you, your comments, it builds me up. In the spirit and it strengthens my calling and my anointing with God and I do not take that uh, lightly I thank God for it. even those of you each and every person that drops by this channel even those of you who I have not had the opportunity to fellowship with I thank God for you and my hope and prayer is that something will be said or mentioned that would uh, draw you closer to God on this channel and make a spiritual impact of spiritual growth in your life amen I thank God for those of you who are on the battlefield of the Lord those of you who are allowing God to use you as an instrument to bring uh, deliverance healing and restoration into the lives of others through biblical truth I thank God for those of you who are uh, allowing God to use you wherever God has positioned you rather it is on prison ministry, uh, street ministry, social media platform preaching, uh, you know, the prophetic teaching, wherever God has placed you, your, your job, your family, your neighborhood, household worship, wherever he has positioned you, uh, continue. I want to encourage you to continue to uh, grind for the Lord and do those things that God has called you to do. And our prayer is that those who are lost in sin, that the love of God through our testimony will locate them and deliver them from the hand of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. No, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There is a word from the Lord this morning, a prophetic word that the Lord has placed on my heart for a specific group of people. And I want to um, minister to you to you this morning as always if this word is not for you i pray that you will begin to pray for those that it is for amen um today i want to encourage those individuals to start that to step out on faith and start that business that the lord has laid upon your heart to establish uh, I want to minister to those people on this morning uh, through spiritual discernment and spiritual sensitivity. Um, I sense that there are some of you who the Lord gave you a business idea um, and you're finding yourself struggling with uh, doing it and the enemy has been trying to make you feel fearful. He's tried to keep you uh make you afraid to step out of your comfort zone and the enemy has tried to instill doubt in your heart and tried to make you feel like it wasn't going to like your business idea is not going to work out um i sense in the spirit that you need to move forward in that business idea that the lord gave you and this business idea that God gave you, it is a, it is a, an idea that people need. It could be a service that people need, a product that people need. And what the Lord gave you is a 
honest business idea because that's how God works. He gives honest uh, ideas of integrity that bring glory to the name of the Lord. And I sense in the spirit that you need to step out of your comfort zone and you need to execute this idea immediately because the Lord has already spoke to you and he's already given you specific instructions step by step on how to implement this business. God gave Noah specific instructions on how to build the ark and God has given you the same thing. And the enemy wants you to continue to put it off and continue to put it off and to procrastinate. Because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God has come to give you life and give you that more abundantly. Now this idea that this business plan that God gave you is going to bless not only you, but your family and those that are around you. And your obedience is going to bless so many people. And God is going to use this business for you to be able to witness and to minister to several people. This will be an opportunity for you to be able to minister. So not only will he bless you financially, but you're going to be able to come across several people and be used as a witness to bring glory to the name of the Lord. And I sense this in the spirit. Step out of your comfort zone and I've been there I know what it feels like to, to to have God call you to do something and it requires you to step out of your comfort zone I've been there and I'm able to identify with you when the Lord told me and my, my wife back in 2008 that we are to leave South Carolina and that we are to move to the surrounding areas of Atlanta, Georgia. That was very difficult because we were stable and very comfortable in South Carolina. And we, it took a minute, but we finally obeyed the will of the, the Lord. And it was the best decision for our family. And God blessed us so many times in this area. People, obedience is everything. And faith without works is dead. You you believe God to do it. Now you have to go out and execute it in the natural. He gave you the vision in the spirit. Now go out, execute, do what it takes to establish this business. And all of the resources are available to you. Because I'm a living witness. There are information online on how to establish businesses. There are tools and resources if you would apply yourself. And many of you, the enemy, um, excuse me, the enemy wants you to be distracted with everything else so that he can distract you from establishing this business. And this business has been in your heart for quite some time and you feel the urgency you feel God calling you step out of your comfort zone do as Peter did step outside the boat and this is where the enemy deceives a lot of people because he tries to create demonic illusions of doubt and fear to keep people complacent to keep them procrastinating and to keep them in their comfort zone so they would never be spiritually productive or spiritually productive naturally that is the plan of the enemy is to block what God has for you and those of you who God gave you a effective business idea you have seen other people start their business and become successful and the enemy wants has even tried to tempt you to become jealous of them he tried to tempt you but you overcame. And because the same success that many of them have, you can have also. You just have to step outside of your comfort zone. And so many of you, 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 you tried to do the 40 hour job and it never works out. You will stay there for a minute and something will happen because that's not God long, that is not God's long term goal for your life. 
is to work for someone else a 40 hour job trust me I've been there I used to be a 40 hour a 40 hour uh, 9 to 5 office guy I have did that I know what it's like to be tied to a to a job to a, a job I've been there but I'm a living witness through faith and being obedient to the word of God and being sensitive to his voice having an ear to hear and stepping out of your comfort zone God will lead you and it might be a little bit uncomfortable at first but God will lead you because so many of you it is not God's will some of you and God has already told you this and what I'm speaking is confirmation to what God has already told you some of you the 40 hour job is not a long term thing for your life and you know this you working for someone else is always not God's plan for your life if that's what God told you I've been there I've been there so I know how difficult it is to disconnect from what we know to be comfortable and what we know to make sense because the Bible says in the book of Proverbs trust in the Lord with all of thy heart and lean not to your own understanding in all your ways and the scripture up under that in all your ways acknowledge him and God will direct your paths if you get into position into alignment with God God will lead and guide you on how to establish this business step by step precept by precept I've seen God do this before for me and my family's life there is a breakthrough that's going to happen to you if you step out on faith and step out of your comfort zone because the enemy wants to keep you in fear but the word of God, hallelujah, declares that he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. And the Bible also says that I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. You already have the power and the intelligence to do this. And so many of you, the enemy wants you to feel inferior. He wants you to feel less than he wants you to feel like you're not smart enough you're not good enough that is a lie from the enemy you are good enough and you can achieve this and I didn't feel this there even might have been people around you that told you that the idea God gave you isn't a good idea obey God not man you know God told you never some of you Quit seeking approval from corner-minded people with your business. Quit asking them, what, a, what do they think? God has already told you the answer. Because I'm a living witness that the enemy will use people to block our um, obedience. He was, the enemy will use people to say, well, that's not a good idea. I wouldn't do that. You ought to do it like this or do it like that. But God has already gave you these specific instructions on what to do. Amen. So it's a blessing that you do what the Lord has told you to do in your life. And obey the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I felt that to encourage someone with that. Your financial success and stability because God, many of you, God is trying to take you to a place of, of, of a financial, of spiritual and financial prosperity. And this business idea, if you go out and execute this and do everything the Lord is telling you to do, you will be blessed beyond measure and God will do some great things in your life. He was God, God was gonna, just gonna do some things you never have even even imagined. But you must be obedient to the voice of the Lord. When God gives a vision, execute it. God gave Noah a vision and Noah executed. People, it is about execution. It is about execution. And in the New Testament, when the men were fishing, and they were fishing all day and night, and they didn't catch anything, but the Lord, they wanted to give up. And the Lord told them to launch out deeper 
they obeyed the voice of the Lord and they launched out their nets deeper and they caught the biggest, the biggest uh, 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 load of fish they've ever caught. And the net break, it broke. Because it was because of obedience, people. Obedience. Obedience. God told Moses to go to, to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. And it took a while, but Noah's obedience led to the children of Israel being delivered from Pharaoh. People, obedience is everything. You feel God calling you. You feel the urgency. You sense that these 40-hour jobs is not a long-term thing for your, for, for your life. And I'm a living witness of this. I thought I would always work in an office because I was comfortable. And that was my skill set. And the Lord delivered me from the 40-hour job. And the Lord took care of me and my wife because we obeyed him and what he wanted us to do. I'm a living witness. God will do this. And many of you, you want more time with your family. You want more time with your family. And this business is going to afford you to be able to do that. And those things that the enemy is trying to implant in your life will fail. God has a plan for your life. He's given you this business. And this business is to become a reality if you move. Now, who am I talking to? Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. And this business God gave you, it doesn't even require a degree. It doesn't even require you to have a major degree because God has already given you the intelligence and the knowledge to put this thing together. You don't always need a college degree to start a business. All of the tools and the resources and self-education on the internet would tell you step by step how to do this. And let me say this from my own experiences. Hallelujah. God has used the internet God has used the positive, resourceful end of the internet to help me accomplish so many things as far as car purchases, as far as negotiations, as far as investing in stock. There are positive resources over the internet if you would apply yourself. All the information is right there in front of you. You can do this. You have been anointed to do this. And if you step out on faith, you will not fail. Wherever God gives you a vision and you execute it and you stay into position, into alignment with God. Wherever God gives you a vision, he makes provision. So execute this business. And not only is God going to take care of you, but... He's going to take care of your family as well, of your obedience. There are people that is connected to you, is dependent upon you making this decision to establish this business. And I declare now that every evil spirit of fear and procrastination is cast out of your life in Jesus' name. Regarding this business, every evil spirit that wants to allow you to be afraid and timid and fearful of starting this business is cast out by the roots away from your life in Jesus' name. Every evil spirit of rejection that will try to make you feel like you're not smart enough, like you, you, you are inferior, I cast that out of your life by the power of God in Jesus' name. And I declare the strength and the boldness of God for you to execute. And I declare that the faith that you have will be followed by the works to execute this business. In Jesus' name. I declare the sensitivity of the Lord over your life that will help you establish this business. <coughs> Excuse me. That will help you establish this business effectively, step by step. And that you will become successful spiritually and naturally of abundance in your life. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That is the word of the Lord this morning. 
And as always, I hope and pray that something was said or mentioned that would make an impact in your life. Amen. Um, I will continue to put up spiritual content as the Lord leads. Thank you so much for dropping by the uh, Deliverance and Restoration channel. And always remember, no weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper. Until next time, God bless you and your family. Be blessed.